Hi, I'm Charles with Clive Coffee, and today I'll be showing you how to set up your new Maycap M7D espresso grinder. Step one, out of the box and onto the counter. Remove the grinder from its box and place it on a solid level surface. Inspect the grinder for any damage, and if you notice any, let us know immediately. Before inserting the hopper, remove the hopper screw from the collar of the grinder. We recommend leaving this out, as the hopper is stable enough on its own and the screw interferes with grind adjustment. Now, plug the grinder in and turn it on. Step two, feeling the coffee. If you got our exclusive grinder dial-in service, you can skip this step. If you're just excited to get a bit messy, then feel free to come along. Put some beans in the hopper and grind them into your hand. Feel the grounds. For espresso, they should feel similar to table salt. Not as fine as powdered sugar, and not as coarse as sand. If the grind feels too coarse, you can adjust it finer by turning the worm drive towards you. And likewise, if it feels too fine, you can adjust it coarser by turning it away from you. The labels on the collar can be a bit tricky, but just remember the numbers in the direction of the word coarse are coarser, and the numbers in the direction of the word fine are finer. In our case, the coffee is a bit coarse, so we'll adjust finer. Step three, dialing the dose. Now that the grind is in the ballpark, it's time to start pulling shots. First, grab a scale and tear the weight of the portafilter. It's worth noting that the M70 is a fantastic single dosing grinder. Its conical burrs and powerful motor make for relatively low grind retention. For more on that, be sure to check our single dosing video. If you're only making a couple cups a day, single dosing is a great way to keep your coffee fresh. If you plan to single dose, simply weigh out your beans ahead of time and grind them through. If you plan to do timed dosing, now would be the time to fill your hopper. To grind manually, press the silver button above the display until you see this six bar symbol. Then simply press and hold the grind button with your portafilter until the basket looks about full. Now weigh the portafilter. Add or remove grounds as necessary to get 20 grams if you're using a triple basket or 18 grams if you're using a double. Step four, adjustments, shot time. Grip the tamper handle as though you're grasping a doorknob. I like to kind of put my fingers around the outside edge here so that I can feel that the tamp is level in the basket. And then we're just gonna lean in and push straight down. The amount of pressure is not nearly as important as your consistency and the ability to keep the tamp perfectly level so water doesn't find any weak spots. Now insert your portafilter and start the shot. We're going to be watching for the first drops of espresso to fall between about six and 10 seconds. As the shot progresses, we'll observe the total shot time. Our target output is 1.5 ounces or 30 grams of liquid espresso in 25 to 30 seconds. If the shot falls under 25 seconds, you want to adjust your grind finer. And if it falls over 30 seconds, you want to adjust your grind coarser. It's best to make small adjustments of a few half turns at a time. And this one was a little bit fast, so I'm going to make a few adjustments finer. Making small adjustments will be easier than making really big adjustments and overcorrecting. I also recommend doing a brief one second grind to purge old grounds between adjustments. This ensures your entire dose is ground at the new setting. Once you've pulled a shot in those parameters, great work. If it's not tasting quite as you'd like it to, then change it. You're the barista now. If the espresso tastes a bit bitter and acrid, then shorten the shot time by a little bit. If it's a bit sour, then lengthen the shot time. Balancing these bitter and sour flavors and finding a coffee's literal sweet spot is the key to good coffee. Adjust to your taste and make sure to break the rules. Step five, timed dosing. Now that we have our grind size dialed, we can set up the grind timer for consistent and repeatable dosing. With the hopper filled, press and hold the silver button atop the grinder until the display looks like this. From here, spinning the button like a dial will take you to the different programmable timed dose settings. Pressing the button on any of them will allow you to change it. Let's go to the first timed dose and change the time to four seconds. Press the button again to save it, and then rotate the dial counterclockwise to the exit and press the button. Tear your portafilter, grind, and weigh the portafilter again. If the dose is too small, increase the time setting by a few tenths of a second, and if it's too much, then decrease it. For more tips on coffee technique and recipe, watch these videos here. If this video answered your questions, be sure to hit the like button, and for more coffee knowledge and in-depth videos, be sure to hit subscribe.